Sorry, Charlie. Tango herido. Friendly Cobra inbound. Muerto confirmado. Friendly care package on the way. Explosivo fuera. Care package ready for delivery. Mark the DC. Securing Charlie. Waiting for your mark. UE ready for deployment. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy BC, the King of Long Beach, and this. Biatch! What's up, folks? <clears throat> Let's get it popping this early morning, man. Top of the morning to everybody that knows what that means. Top of the morning. Good morning to everybody else. You feel me? Let's get our cup of Joe's. Our Cadillacs and our cups of tea popping. Let's have a sip and enjoy this, uh, you know, nice little gameplay we got going on here. And this is a, a new style of playing for me on this particular map. I don't, you know, I'm kind of getting tired of sitting in those buildings, getting like 30, 40, maybe 50 KDs, you know, working. Whoo, my knife is working, people. <laughs> Y'all in trouble with my knife working. But yeah, I take this route from, you know, from that particular spawn. You know what I mean? Uh, and throw that first grenade. You guys, that grenade spot that I threw in the very beginning of the video is very helpful. I get a hit marker at the least every time I throw it. You know, so you at least know it's somebody coming your way. And uh, we decided we'll just go ahead and, and, and triple cap and, and rush and have fun, man. You know, because WMD is, is based on these buildings, basically. And uh, when you're playing against noobs... Our two noob teams are playing against each other. Whoever camps the hardest wins, most likely. And uh, whoever controls that B flag wins, actually. But, yeah, man, I want to just run and gun, have some fun. I'm using a Blops UMP. You know what I mean? You kind of want to use a flak jacket and marathon, if possible. And, you know, you might want to use lightweight when you're rushing, but it all depends on you if you plan on helping capture flags and shit like that. I would definitely suggest flak jacket. Uh... Yeah, and this is what I do, man. I just run circles, run laps around the fucking map. And as you can see, it's working out for me. Hold on one second. I need to take a sip of this. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's basically what I've been doing. I've switched up my style on this map, and that's what you want to have is a little versatility in your game anyway. So, I get pick up the dogs right there. I haven't stopped moving. BC's on some running gun shit. For those that think I'm a, a fucking camper, Psst, not. But, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, why the chopper gunner is up, man. I hope y'all enjoyed that tutorial on the color corrections. And, um, you know, I got some good feedback on it. And I appreciate you guys, everybody that actually said, hey, that's what you guys wanted to see is a tutorial. And that's what we want, you know what I mean? Tell me what you want to see from me. And, uh, and if all possible I can do it, I will do it. You know what I'm saying? So, Definitely, man. I uh, I enjoy doing it for you guys. I'm not a selfish person. I wanted everybody out there to be able to enjoy the same decent quality videos that I have, you know, on their channels and post, you know, decent shit. So that's why I did the tutorial and I felt that, uh, <clears throat> you know, instead of me linking you the video to where I learned the shit from, I would bring it from my, you know, from my uh, point of view and uh, put some flavor on it. You know what I mean? Put a, put a little bit of ghetto twist on it, you feel me? But uh, basically, it's the same shit. And I want to thank, uh, I think it's Pressure HD for doing the uh, original tutorial that uh, I learned the shit from. You know, I'm going to send him a message. I haven't even formally thanked him yet. <clears throat> but he's, uh, <clears throat> he's pretty cool for doing that. And uh, yeah, it's one of the best corrections I've seen out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, back to the gameplay. I came out of my chopper gunner. I did my shit on a chopper gunner, and um, I'm just rushing. As you can see, we, we're pretty much manhandling the other team. It's like 100 to, it don't even matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like a, these these dudes is probably rage quitting left and right, <clears throat> and if they not, they should. And I like using the uh, the Blops UMP with the Warlord. That's, that's my thing. I like using Warlord with Grip and uh, Dual Mags. Beast and yeah, buddy, flag jacket warlord. <clears throat> Damn, and dual mags. But uh, yeah, 
when you stay moving on this map, I notice that it's hard to, you know, for the other team to capture a flag. It's like every time they, damn, that was sick how he fell face first after that grenade. Every time you think you're going to cap a flag, you got somebody like me with the, they are foot all up in your ass. And, uh, yeah, that's it, man. I'm just having fun. I can't wait till the fucking map pack comes out. <clears throat> and, uh, let me discuss a little bit about the first strike map pack. What I think about it. Hold on, I gotta take a sip on it first. First strike. Boy, I can't wait to play it. <laughs> Only thing I can say is fuck Treyarch and everybody else who's involved in the contract to where fucking Xbox gets it first. I, I just think it's totally unfair. How can we ever compare or be on the same level with Xbox, man, PlayStation gamers, if we get everything fucking late or secondhand versions or, you know what I mean, bit rates or, or fucking totally different. So, you know, it's just, come on, dog. We all spend the same amount of money I can see. And I'm a bitch a little bit. I'm a rant and bitch a little bit. I could see if we all, you know, were spending like, we were getting it for like 20 bucks cheaper on PlayStation 3. We paying the same money. You feel me? So why do we get the secondhand treatment? It's like we've been a redhead stepchild. Or you know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's fucked up. You know what I mean? That uh, PlayStation and, uh, and Treyarch or Activision can't work something out to where we'll get the same equal product you know what i'm saying and on time <clears throat> but it's all politics and money involved in that so you know it's beyond above and beyond me you know and um pretty much my opinion probably don't matter but if you follow the uh treyarch tweet i think you know if we just all like get together and just stay on them about this shit the hey, i know you guys noticed that grenade spot again but anyway if you stay on it Maybe, you know, our opinions will matter eventually, you know what I'm saying? And I think without dedicated servers this next time around, I don't know. It's just going to be even worse for me. You know, the game, the next Call of Duty might be good, but without dedicated servers, it's, it's going to seem like it's not that good to me because I'm just tired of the same old bullshit. So, I just want to rant and bitch a little bit about that. But, yeah, I am definitely anticipating a new map pack, and I can't wait till it comes out and, uh, Man, that's pretty much it. Don't you love when you have flak jacket and you see a grenade <laughs> indicator and you just run right toward it instead of running away from it because you know it's not gonna kill you? That shit is so tight. But yeah, man, I um I gotta definitely say thanks. I'm appreciating the feedback I'm getting, and I end up going 49 to 10 on some running gun shit. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. To stay updated with Next Level Studios, be sure to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. There you'll find the latest and greatest news from Next Level Studios.